for today in Forza Horizon 5, we finally did it. The secret Santa has been completed. And by that, I mean it definitely wasn't rigged and hit the day after Christmas. See, chat knows it is not rigged, except for that one guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the chat. Um, anyways, Lamborghini Cyan Sussy Roadster, which I don't know how to pronounce still. Forza's not the only people in the giving mood. We are still doing our giveaway for the Xbox Series X. Literally, all you have to do to enter is number one, subscribe on YouTube, and number two, join the AR12 Discord server. And at the end of December, I am going to pick a winner and send them an Xbox Series X, which should be pretty cool. Anyways, so if you want to get this Lamborghini Cyan Sussy Roadster, here is what you need to do. Go over to your message center, then scroll over to gifts and you will see this secret Santa reward. Every single person in Forza Horizon 5 is going to get it. All you need to do is go to your message center and you'll get it just like that. It's actually one of the newest Lamborghinis we've got in Forza Horizon 5. 808 horsepower, 556 foot-pounds of torque. It is actually really heavy. We're going to come back, do some customization. I really want to see if this thing has any engine swaps or any of that type of stuff. Spoiler alert, I think it could be a really good drift car because it's actually a hybrid. But before we do any of that, I do want to try it bone stock and see what it's got. That's not bad. I'll take that. As per usual, this wouldn't be an AR-12 video without any fun facts about the Lamborghini Cyan Sassy Roadster, which like I said, I still have no idea how to pronounce, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to call it the Lamborghini Cyan because that sounds right to me. They basically took the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. It's got exactly the same engine. However, they actually swapped on a hybrid system making this the first hybrid Lamborghini has ever made. And because of that hybrid system, though, it is also the most powerful production car that Lamborghini has ever made. Lamborghini actually only made 63 of these things in hardtop and only 19 of them in Roadster versions. So they are super, super rare. I actually looked it up earlier today. There's like five of them for sale right now. They all cost anywhere between like four to six million bucks. Lamborghini is actually killing off the Lamborghini Aventador. I think it's like the final year was last year. I'm pretty sure the last Aventador was made a couple of months ago and then it fell off a boat. Lamborghini has actually been using the Lamborghini Cyan as kind of their test bed for the upcoming Lamborghini Aventador replacement. I did want to save the best fun fact for last. You know how car companies like to name their cars or car colors interesting names? I would like you guys to make a guess for what you think the blue is called for this one. Ocean blue, Cyan blue, bathroom blue. This is real. This is real. This blue is called Uranus Blue. That is, it's a real thing. If you are the person at Lamborghini who named this car, I think you should see a doctor. Let's jump into some Forza Horizon 5 customization and see what we can do to the Cyan Sussy Roadster. Maybe for our first build, I'll go for like an S2 class build. And then we slow it down, bring it back down to S1 class where I'll try to rally race it. The SF90 was an amazing rally car because of the hybrid system. And then I'll try and hoon it around. We do have an engine swap. We can swap in the racing V12. I don't think I want to do that. We've already got all-wheel drive. I will keep my all-wheel drive. I will, though, swap on some twin turbos. A 1,300 horsepower instantly. Then I can get a big old front splitter. That actually doesn't look terrible. All you would have to do to make that actually look cool is get rid of that stupid tow hook right in the middle. And then how about the rear? Oh, we can actually get some slick tires on here. It's already sitting on semi-slick tires bone stock. You know what? Maybe let's go for like the Hot Wheels tires with the little red line on it. Let's also make our tires a little bit thicker in the front and in the rear, 365. That is absurd. We've even got some engine spacers, bro. That's so sick. 
front and rear. Then all I need to do is upgrade the transmission. Then I can like tune the gears. Actually, let me go for like a six speed for this thing. So it's already technically on race suspension. We can toss on rally suspension. We will definitely come back to that. And we've got drift suspension. Thank you for not ruining this car with bottled upgrades. Weight reduction. Jeez, this is nearly going to be X class. We can actually upgrade the power for this engine. A 1,500 horsepower? This is gonna be so sick. Let's give this a go. I wanna see how fast this is in a straight line. Last but not least, we've just gotta make this thing look cool. So stock paint jobs, Uranus blue, urethra orange, white, and black. 100% L because this thing should have had advanced painting options so we could paint that gold one color and then the actual body of the car a different color. That should have been a thing. Just saying. Just saying. Thank you, thank you. I, 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 I will, I will be here all week. Holy shit! I'm in a Lamborghini party. It is my people. Wait, 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 wait. So we've got two scenes, and we had two Aventadors. I think probably around 280 would be a good place for this. This thing accelerates like crazy though. That is insane. 274. And we're going up a hill still. Then when we start going down the hill, this is where we're going to be able to get it. 275, keep accelerating. 276, 278, 279. Really? Really? I was one off. Classic. I say 280 and the game says no, you 279. We are going unbeatable difficulty with the sign Sussy Roadster. I am actually a little bit worried about like the downforce this thing has. Like it's got really good horsepower. It's a little bit on the heavy side, depending on what you compare it to. But I'm mainly worried about the rear wing. We have to toss on the rear arrow or it's never going to drive properly. There is an absurd amount of understeer. We are blowing past people, but it's just, it's not great. Okay, keep going. Keep going, Cyan. Keep going, Cyan. Up the inside. Beautiful. Thank you very much. I love this car. My favorite cars in the entire world. Lamborghini. There's something so cool about them. I meant to do that. That was obviously on purpose. I don't know if it's a combination of the arrow and the extra weight. Like it is pretty heavy considering it's 3000 pounds and it just, it doesn't turn the way it should. Compared to like the Sesto Elemento or even like the SVJ, both of those cars are very doo -doo 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 dirty. And this thing's like, uh. It has the handling of a whale. So I think we should actually make this thing go off-road instead. I think the big hybrid unit is going to make this super nice to drive off-road. So rally suspension. I need to bring my PI back down so then I can go for off-road race tires. Now I've got some PI to play with again. Can I get away with twin turbos? Nope. I guess just a little bit extra horsepower from this stuff. Okay, cool. Look at how big a difference tossing on the twin turbos makes. We've got a fully upgraded engine again, minus the twin turbos, but we have less than a thousand horsepower this time. That's crazy. That is such a cool car. Mine is definitely a little different looking. I may have completely bottled the spec. I need an off-road race to test this thing properly on. Ooh, yes. Let's go to this one. It's been a while. I really hope that this thing can do well. It is hypercars off-road. We are on the hardest difficulty in the game. I don't even know why I'm starting P10 when I should be starting last, but I mean, I'll take it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, the grip. I braked so early for that in, like, fear that we were just going to run super... I did it again. I fully did it again. Oh, it definitely has trouble going through the corners. Oh, no. It just... It fully doesn't turn regardless of whether you have the arrow on or not. The brakes are awesome. It can stop so fast. The grip is insane. But then once you actually get to the corner itself and you need to turn in, it doesn't. The arrow didn't help at all. So tossing that on only makes your car uglier. So not good. I'm actually so disappointed. I'm still holding out hope that it's going to be a good drift car because of that hybrid system. I was really hoping the hybrid system was going to help here. It doesn't. And I'm also worried about the drifting because it's heavy now. If we actually wanted to go really try hard with this thing, sure, we could swap the engine and get like the racing V12 in this thing. And that, that would be lighter. You're taking the thing that makes the science special with that hybrid power unit 
and just removing it. So you might as well be driving literally an Aventador. I'll take that. I mean, we finish up in P8. It's not a very good result. Twitch chat, did you guys have the same issue too? Put yes in chat if you like driving it. Put no in chat if you didn't like driving it. Yeah, there's definitely a lot more no's than there are yeses. Our final bill, Lamborghini Scion. Please do not let me down. We're taking this thing drifting. And if we're going drifting, I'm going full try hard. I am not holding back. That's going to mean all wheel drive, drag racing tires. And then I think we're just going to hit up, I don't know, maybe a test run. Then I need my drift suspension. That looks so sick. I love that. And then we'll give it a little bit of extra horsepower. We're not going to go all the way up to 1,500, but 1,004. Sure, fine. That's good enough. Trying to drive this thing in the middle of the night is going to be tough. The sun is rising in the distance. In, go. Yes, big angle. Yes, I love my third gear. Perfect. That's it. That's it. Oh, oh, oh. Keep going. Keep going. Wow. Wow, that was clean. 150. 160. Oh, 183. I was 2K off my PB. Maybe instead of doing the volcano, I want to come down here and try this. 370,000 points is the PB. In we go. 370,000 points is the score to beat. Think we could actually do it. Look at that. Look at the way it slides. It's crazy. I'm fully drifting at 40 miles an hour but it works. Like it's not super clean. We're just vibing in second gear. This is sick. 160,000 points already. That's not bad. Keep it going. 220 and we've got half a mile to go. We are going to get into the 300,000s, but how far will we go through them? There's 310. 320. Oh, I'm about to lose the car. I lost it. This is a new PB. Is that a new New personal best! That wasn't even a good run! I honestly cannot remember the last time I drove a car that was as difficult as this thing. This is just crazy. There we go, though. That is, without a doubt, my best opening so far. For sure. Oh, that is so smooth. Oh, that is so buttery smooth. Come on. I don't think I'm going to do it. I don't think I'm going to get anywhere near my PB. Ah! Uh Come on, another 380,000. I don't really know how to describe this thing because it's one of those cars that you love because it's so cool, but it's a terrible race car. To be honest, it's not a great drift car either. It's 100% one of those cars you toss a sick looking paint job on and you cruise around in it. And that's probably it.